blacksmith written by henry wadsworth longfellow under a spreading chestnut tree the village smithy stands the smith a mighty man is he with large and sinewy hands and the muscles of his brawny arms are strong as iron bands his hair is crisp and black and long his face is like the tan his brow is wet with honest sweat he earns whatever he can and looks the whole world in the face for he owes not any man we can wake up from morn till night you can hear his bellows blow you can hear him swing his heavy sledge with measured beat and slow like a section ringing the village bell when the evening sun is low and children coming home from school looking at the open door they love to see the flaming forge and hear the bellows roar and catch the burning sparks that fly like chaff from a threshing floor he goes on sunday to the church and sits among his boys he hears the pars and pray and preach he hears his daughter's voice singing in the village choir and it makes his heart rejoice it sounds to him like her mother's voice singing in paradise he needs must think of her once more how in the grave she lies and with his heart proud hand he wipes a tear out of his eyes toiling rejoicing sorrowing onward through life he goes each morning sees some task begin each evening sees it close something attempted something done has earned a night's repose thanks thanks to thee my worthy friend for the lesson thou hast taught thus at the flaming forge of life our fortunes must be wrought the sonnet sounding and will shade each burning deed and thought